honestly don't remember why I fell in love with you. Your quirks, how you're so laid back, how you're so uptight about work, how you're so protective over me to an extreme, those little things that make you you, that I used to really like, they annoy me to the point where I feel like you are grating on me. I don't know what happened. Have you ever felt that way? Have you been in that relationship? Have you gotten to a point where you don't even know why you're together when all you see is, ah, every little thing they do annoys you? All you see are the bad, you can't even see the good anymore. Have you been there? I have. And it's a really lonely place to be. But you don't want to end it because they're so great for certain reasons. So what do you do? Well, you go on a last resort vacation. It might sound like the last thing in the world you want to do. You can't even stand each other, but now let's go and stay in a room together in a romantic location as if it's a honeymoon. It sounds miserable, but it's actually perfect. Remembering why you fell in love is what you need to do right now. Appreciating the things about each other that you used to go crazy over, but then you forgot and you stopped. Find a location that's close enough that you can drive. Something romantic that's almost like a honeymoon, except that you're not flying across the world in order to get there. Somewhere where you can drive home if it gets bad. But it won't, because you're there to love each other. I met Auberge Del Mar, which is an unbelievably romantic resort and the perfect place for a last resort. It's also a perfect place for a wedding, a honeymoon, a little nice retreat with your guy or even girlfriends. In fact, we've seen three weddings since we've been here. It's romantic. It's sort of away from everything. There's an amazing restaurant called Kitchen 1540 where you can have a beautiful romantic meal. You can go down to the beach and stroll along the sand and watch the train. You can walk through the town. We went and got massages at a little massage place called Place 360. It was a couple's massage. It was very romantic. This is the type of place where you want to come when you're really trying to focus on each other because you have the opportunity to be with everyone else, sit in the bar, sit at the pool, have that resort feeling, but you can also steal away and just focus on each other and have conversations again, which you may not have had in a really long time together. Drop the anger, drop the resentment, have a conversation about it, decide, you know what? We're just gonna be there to love each other and that's it. Appreciate each other for who you are. Focus on just being, not doing. It's a great idea to look in the neighborhood, look in the area and see what kind of things you might like to do together. If there's a great little secret romantic restaurant or a bar or a place to walk, something that you can just experience the town together but without an intense itinerary because this again is not about doing, it's about being. Don't work, don't talk to friends, don't talk to family. This is just about you. You wanna find somewhere close because you want to actually appreciate what you have in your own basically backyard and what you have in your bed. Stop thinking that the grass is always greener on the other side, look at your own. Put some effort into your relationship right now because what you might realize is that once you put effort into it, you actually appreciate it again. Once you drop all the stress, you actually find your love again, and you can then make it work. You can actually resurrect a relationship that you thought was over, but it doesn't have to be. Compliment each other, hold hands, put some effort into it. Wear something nice, wear something sexy, shave, put on makeup, try again to impress each other again, like you used to do, and then, when you're on the trip, if you realize, you know what, I really love you, but we're just not a match anymore, know that that's okay too. It can be your last vacation. It can be the culmination of something that was once really great. 
and that's all it has to be. Yes, you can still touch and, and have sex if you want to. It doesn't mean that there has to be something after that. Just love each other for now and know that you can say goodbye without hating each other forever.